All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is let's do the camera wires, okay? Now, to do the camera wires, I want you to go ahead and just unplug uh, your VTX. You can just unplug it like that and just kind of set it aside, whatever you need to do, because you need to get to these three pieces right here, and they're they're fairly easy to get to, so I'm not worried about you uh, having a hard time doing that. I just wanna make sure that you have to give yourself enough room. All right, let's go ahead and get our camera out, and you're gonna see a bunch of cables here. Uh, you're gonna see a cable set here, and you're gonna see this one here. This is your OSD, on-screen display, uh, controller for the camera. I'm not gonna mess with this right now and I haven't really had to use it, so I'm just gonna set that aside. What I do care about is this set of wires right here and this set of screws. So I'm gonna open that and I'll just put those right here for right now. I'll set the screws aside for the time being because right now what I wanna do is focus on the wire only. Now, on the back of your camera, let's go ahead and get the camera out. <coughs> excuse me on the back of your camera you have a four pin plug okay the last pin on there is for osd but when we use our power and video cable that comes with it there's only going to be three pins used the fourth pin is actually actually empty there's nothing in there that's only if you use the osd remote so i'm going to plug this in okay make sure i get that in there there we go and sorry, the, the cap came off. I'm not worried about that right now, but I'll leave it back on there. Okay, so the camera is gonna sit here, okay? I'm gonna take this cover off because it's gonna get in the way. Camera's gonna sit here, and I and if you can see clearly the run to the wire to where it needs to go is very short, very, very short. So what I would do, I don't wanna cut it too short, but what I would say is let's see if we can use an existing length here. So let's use the 30 mil, and let's go ahead and just feed this in. Okay, and run it down to the, run it down as far as you can get it there. There we go, to the measurement from the camera base itself. And let's just cut that right there. All right. Oh yeah, that's gonna be plenty of wire. Okay, now we can unplug it carefully. And this is all we're gonna use, about 30 mil of the wire. Let's go ahead and get ready to tin it. So let's strip just a little bit of it off. Okay, one, two, And three. All right, now I'm gonna tin this again like we've been doing all the wires. My screws fell out, wonderful, they always do this. Why? Uh, this piece here, which is a three prong, you can keep this for extra wire, uh, but you won't be using it anymore on this build. All right, let's tin this up. Go. Twist them. All right, now we're gonna tin these real quick. There's one, there's two, and there's three. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come on over here and it's gonna go in order. So you've got five volt, camera, and ground. So we're gonna go red, yellow, black, and that's going to start with the one right next to where the blue is. So I'm just going to move that cable just slightly out of the way a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to put the red on there. So 5 volt. yellow and the camera slot and then let's take the black put that on the ground slot all right and there we go so let me show you on the computer what that looks like there okay so this is it so if you look right here um, why this box keeps popping up. But here's here's where we are. So there's the black, the yellow, and the red. And that's what we got. There's your TX, and everything is perfectly done here. So we can now get ready and we can wind this up a little bit. Okay. 
Eh, probably like that. Leave it like that because that's how it's going to plug in. And let's go ahead and uh, get our camera mounted. So I'm going to take. I'm going to go to the. Um, I'm going to go to the middle row and I'm going to use the front row. So you got three rows and the three columns. I'm going to go to the middle row and the column closest to the front. I'm going to push the camera forward just a little bit. And now I'm going to get the the screws that came with the camera, which are right here. I think this will be long enough, so uh, it should be. It could be longer, so if you end up wanting to use a longer screw, you're more than welcome to. This should give me a decent enough hold. Yeah, that's going to be good. All right, I'm going to tilt that back just a little bit, and I'm going to grab the next plate here. And I'm going to grab the next screw. Can I open it on this side? All right. So let's tilt this back. I guess the screws could be maybe a little longer. I'm not. Only when you move it like this, because it, man, this thing keeps running. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in. All right, and just to make, we just want to get it for fit. We're not ready yet to put the camera in fully, but what we want to do is we just want to make sure it fits. So let's just kind of get the things lined up. And if you tighten the, if you tighten the brackets, the, the, the camera mounts too tight, it, it may bring them in too much and to where they don't fit in the slot. So just, just a heads up there. You may have to work in it just a little bit, but I think we are almost, just get that right in the slot there. And there we go. And this thing fits like a chair. Now I've tightened the screw too much, so let me loosen this up just a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. So we've got everything sitting nicely with the camera. It's, this actually looks really great. This came out really nice. Um, but there's still one thing left to do. So we're going to stop here with the camera. And we're going to come back now. And we're going to knock out the receiver. So you're going to see both of these plugs unplugged when we come back. Okay, so we'll be right back.